I read here in a, in an article written in the Netherlands, so you can maybe deny it if it's not true that that actually you're slightly less popular in in the UK, your home country, than uh, here. Is it on the bright side when looking on the bright side nice to maybe be a bit under the radar when it comes to making a, a second record? Uh, I, I like going home to London and uh, being able to. Um, what do I like? Let me think. <laughs> Pros and cons. Yeah, I don't really mind. I don't honestly think too much about it. I mean, some shows you do are very big, and then you know, I played in Hyde Park last summer, and there's 30,000 people there. So some shows you do are big, and but it's nice to be able to go home and not get hassled. Yeah, it's good. So you don't try to push it anymore there, or is it? Uh... Don't try to push it anywhere, to be honest. I mean. Mm -hmm. um, I feel quite lucky when um, you know you um, you get one of your songs played on the radio or um, yeah, anything like that's great. I take it all as a, um, as a good thing. But how much airplay, if you can compare, maybe did you get in the UK compared to maybe Germany or Netherlands? Yeah, I had a fair amount on, on radio. I mean, in in England, there's um, there's a few key radio stations, and you know they cater for different styles of music, so. Uh, we have like Radio 2, which is more my kind of audience. So mm. I'd, be pl I'd be played on that a little bit, yeah. What do they... I can't compare it to how much I get played in the Netherlands, but... Um, yeah, is it really a, a big difference? I don't know. I mean, I sometimes get a call from someone here and saying they hear my song in the supermarket here or somewhere in France. Mm -hmm. So um, that's always good, yeah. Have you heard your song in the supermarket while shopping there? Or not here, no. No, it's uh, not yet. But then I haven't really been to too many shopping markets yet. Is it a compliment to have your song in a, in a supermarket? Is that something you associate something with? Uh, it just makes it kind of a part of everyday life, doesn't it? Um, yeah. Which is a good thing. Because I heard there were actually studies what was the best music for being played in a supermarket, but... I never knew that. What's, what makes the top ten? Yeah, I think it was, has to be in a major... And, major key? Yeah, and not... Too high beats. So. I don't do major keys. No. No. Okay. Not no. a high beat. A <laughs> no, slow, a slow, a slow, slow beat. tempo, yeah. Amazing. And they had some uh, artists that were doing quite well, but. That's interesting. Uh, I'll have to do that for my third album. Just call it Shop Mart. Yeah. What we got? Let's see a bit better title. Should I just call it Straight Shopping? Yeah. Shopping. Maybe brings you a lot of commercial success in that way. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah, you have a. Actually, when looking at a, a very ambitious. Yeah, first record. When you look back on the now, what did you take, uh, what did you learn actually from that making that you brought into the creation of the second one? I think I had to uh, be slightly more organized than this. I mean, the first album took maybe you know, seven or eight years and this one maybe took seven or eight weeks. So um, you kind of have to be a lot more prepared and you know, if you're working with 60 piece orchestras, then they need to have their scores at nine o'clock in the morning ready you can't really shout to 60 people, oh, I think it needs to go more like this. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you just need a bit more organization. What was the main difference? Because seven years versus seven weeks is, is of course, a big uh, difference. What do you say was the key for you to... Uh... Well, I just wanted to work quickly on this record. I, I was writing a lot of material um, on my travels. You know, I was traveling across Northern Europe quite a lot, and um, I found it, quite, found it quite inspiring and quite creative. And, um, and I found myself with a guitar in my hands more often than not. So I was writing quite a lot and I just felt it needed to be, um, I wanted to release it quite quickly and not spend another two years writing endlessly and choosing my top 10. Why? I just felt there was a collection of songs that, uh, that fitted around the others and I wanted it to feel more as an album should in my, you know, to my ears. Mm -hmm. um, and so they all, they're all kind of closely linked. And I like that. You know, and nowadays you can put out re records pretty quickly. And it's good. Would you say they're linked to the songs of your previous record too, or is it just...? Not really. Not really linked to those. But you know, I'd had a lot going on in my life in the last six months, and, or 12 months, and um, I wanted it to be almost like a photo album of that period of time, mm -hmm. and, um, and not be tempted to write endlessly and tinker away. I like a collection of records that are closely linked. If you maybe make the comparison to a photo album, what photos would be maybe highlighted if you had to, to present them in a visual way the well, last think, couple of um, months? Yeah, I think this second album has been quite reflective for me and about my childhood and, you know, I had a lot going on with my family with people not being well and, uh, 
and stuff like that, and uh, or just lots of you know everyday family issues here that we all have. And I really wanted to be writing that, so you get nostalgic about your childhood and mm -hmm. you know wherever you spent your summer holidays or things your parents would say to you, or yeah, lots of stuff like that. Was it because maybe there were some some issues within your family that that childhood memories came up more brightly then? Or yeah, I think so. I think so. And. Um, you know, when you have hard times, they're the things that stick in your mind. So even if you want to write songs about um, nightclubbing, mm -hmm. they never really come out. You know, you always end up writing about what's on, what's in your head. If you now maybe have that, maybe also a photo album of your child, and how do you look at it now? When what's your general feel how, about it? How do I look back at my childhood? Yeah, do you God. have a good one? Had a good one? Do you think? Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, we all kind of choose. <laughs> We pick out whatever we like depending on our mood. But I mean, yeah, it was it was pretty good. I was always kept I always kept myself to myself. Mm -hmm. Always uh, just playing guitar. I spent a lot of time just playing guitar. You know. So nothing has changed. Uh, much. No, it hasn't <laughs> changed. We don't change that much, do we? Some so, do, some don't. I'm yeah. not sure what's uh, the best. I find more often than not, people don't. 